Hi there and welcome back to part 4 of our little Let's Play Ludum Dare 49 series. I'm Eric aka Eggbag. Uh, I'm a solo indie game developer and huge game jam enthusiast. And yeah, today we're going to be looking at a few more games from the recently ended Ludum Dare 49 competition. Let's go! So here we have once again our little list of games, quite a few covered already. There were three new games added since last time and yeah, we once again use our mighty RNG Lato to, to help us determine the next game. So let's go. And it's Warp Glider number 27. This is uh, by Cool Roos. Um, yeah, four times in Dudum Dare already. The game is called Warp Glider and we'll check it out now. So Warp Glider by Cool Roos. Warp Glider is a series of single screen action puzzle challenges centered around the glider which can ascend on drafts of warm air or transform itself into a ball to quickly plummet to the ground. Okay, that sounds quite interesting. Um, if at any point you want to restart the level, you can press R to reset yourself. Okay, let's check it out. So, another Unity game. Um, oh, press Z to start. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like the Z key for Game Jam games. I see it a lot of times because on uh, QWERTY keyboards, it's like in the bottom left right next to space uh, and X, which are also often used. But on a German keyboard, like I have here, it's in the upper right corner. It's uh, instead of the Y uh, in the upper uh, column. And row, it's not column, it's row. So yeah, we'll see if we, we can go still. Um, so let's press C to start. Okay. So we can press left and right, uh, and in this level we're just going to the right and flipping switches. All right. Okay, Z to continue. So let's start again, and this time we have a little obstacle here. So we press Z to go down. Okay. Yeah, it's still bearable since. Um, to, to you see here. Um, okay, so we're just floating past that obstacle. All right. So now, yes, we can catch some momentum and ride into the spikes. Uh, all right, and not into the spikes this time, and let's go. Okay, that was close. Okay, it's floating down smoothly. That's good. That's good. Warning, warp glider instability did detected. Oh, yeah, now we're getting unstable here. Enter warp gate before glider deter deteriorates. Um, all right, so we have a level timer now. And that was too much. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is getting getting harder now. Like we're gliding down and to the left, and yes, we did it. Okay, so now we gotta switch between the modes. This is quite chill, I guess. Yeah. So no music in this one, but some sound effects at least. Um. Proceed to start and all, almost get killed immediately. Okay. Oh, ah, shouldn't have pressed it there. So we're gonna go a little bit faster now. And... Go, yes, oh, that was close. Um, okay, let's start again and go down right away. Not into the lava. Okay, so these are simple levels, but they're enjoyable so far. Uh, the game feels quite good. Oh, 
I am too slow. Okay, let's try that again. So we gotta go like downwards pretty much immediately. Uh, oh, this is harder. Uh, damn it! So close! Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, if I press like Z, I have to press it again to go down after the start. So if I still hold it down, maybe it could immediately go into the downwards movement. Like, this would be nicer in this level. I'm not sure if it would have helped in any other level so far. So can we go all the way? Yes. Okay. We needed to go all the way, so there's no time for stopping right here. Whew. Okay. So now we have some laser barriers. All right. Ah, okay. Let's do that again. Oh God, that was pure luck. <laughs> I got through. Um, okay, next. Oh yeah, there are two laser barriers. So we gotta choose our start. No. <laughs> okay, that was not too wisely chosen. Ah. Too fast. Okay. Let's go again. Ah, damn it. This one's a little tough. Ah, God. Okay. I can do it. Like, I want to get below there before it starts, but maybe I should just wait. Just have a little patience here. Oh. <laughs> And then we got it. Yeah. Okay, so now we started at a little bit of a dump point. In time. Okay, okay, we, we did it. All right, yeah, the graphics are, are simple, but they just work and the co controls work pretty well. Um, so it's all really fast movement here. Um, let's go, okay. Okay, this is gonna be hard. Like there's, there's just little room to build up that momentum. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was too little. And there's so little time. Okay. Almost got it, yes. All right, that was really close again. So these levels are timed to be very brief and yeah, very close. Uh, so we gotta go to the left first here, and all right. How do we do this? We're gonna go like this. Oh, no, that. Wait. I'm not sure. Wait a second. Do I have to do this differently? Uh, I'm gonna try again because I have a feeling like I sh should be able to glide over there, but it's super close and. Should I be going like... No, no, I can't go up here. I have to go down, right? Okay, so that was not it. Oh, yeah. Okay, so they, they have pretty big colliders, these things. Yes. Okay, now just... Gotta do that one. Okay, we did it. So, um, are there gonna be any more new mechanics, I wonder? So in this level, we gotta go... Oh, this is, this is gonna be luck, I guess. Oh, <laughs> okay, there are spikes there too. And again. And again. <laughs> okay. I have a feeling that we, we, we have to go really closely here. Oh, but we, we can do them all at once, right? Almost. It shouldn't go so much to the left. But, oh god. This is hard. Damn, oh, maybe I should go all the way to the left. Yeah, I'm gonna try that now. Okay, not like this. Oh, okay, let's get that one first. No! 
Oh, that was so close. Oh God, almost did it. And <laughs> yeah, the timing is really hard to, to get right. Okay, we're gonna get one. <laughs> and so yeah, this is all super close. Uh, like, I probably would have enjoyed it more if it's a little more forgiving, just a little more. Oh god! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if I can do this level. Um, okay, I'm gonna give it a few tries, but we're already a few minutes in, so... Uh, how are we gonna do this? We're gonna go like upstream and then to the right and then... Okay, so we're gonna go up. And now let's just glide. Let's just glide, <laughs> like really chill. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, maybe make the spikes colliders a little smaller. So they're more forgiving. I like forgiving game design. And also just before the timeline, yeah. I think that was the intended way to play this level. So this one seems right quite easy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, an easy level at the end. And a little hard for us. That's nice. Yeah, you, you know you know what I like? Uh like not a linear difficulty curve, but like a spiked one. You have an easy level at first, like then a new mechanic gets introduced, then it gets progressively harder, but after that it gets a little bit easier again to give you just that that ego push. Um, so that was that was implemented well here with the last level, like it was friendly, and the second to last level actually was also not that hard. So yeah, pretty nice. Um, let's get to the ratings, and I have my little rating table right here to give those stars uh, like a real word and we are gonna do out uh, overall last so uh, fun it was pretty fun I wouldn't actually exactly call this like wasn't there like action puzzle yeah okay that's that's a good word for it like it's not puzzle it's more action than puzzle um, so uh, fun was pretty good. Um, yeah, between good and very good here, so let's take a quick sip and think about that. I think it would have been more fun if it was a little forgiving, so a little more forgiving. So, am I gonna go with good? I mean, it was still gonna go with no I'm gonna go with good here um, okay but, but my rule is when in doubt I always go for the higher one so let's go for for very good innovation there was I think not a lot of innovation like we had switches we had spikes and we had laser barriers and some lava like this is all pretty standard stuff I think the innovation lies in the movement uh, something like this, you, you don't see it too often, like you have to gain momentum by going down and then upwards again and then down, so this is pretty nice, but it's, I think, not more than mixed. Yeah, I'm gonna go with mixed here. So the theme, unstable. Yeah, so the only unstable thing was like the, sh the, the timer, right? Uh, so the ship being destroyed after some time and... Yeah, that only made the game harder. So I think that's that's not a very creative uh, interpretation of the theme, but it was actually quite well implemented. Like in almost every level, I was like just right on timer uh, until I hit the end. So um, still gonna go with not good here because yeah, it's like it's just the timer you know like it's not not that much unstableness in the game or could we could we say this the mood that the movement is a little bit unstable no it's actually not that unstable um so yeah okay so the graphics super minimalistic but yeah they 
they are pretty coherent. You can make out all the elements clearly. Uh, so they do work quite well. Um, but still, yeah, it's really minimalistic. So I'm gonna go with mixed here. Uh, the audio, so unfortunately there was no music, like like just a little tune, just a really tiny tune. Would have uh, like increased the experience a lot, I think. Um, the sound effects were all right, but also, yeah, I'm, I, I can't go, I'm, I'm between not good and mixed, so gonna go with not good here because we already went uh, higher with fun. So the atmosphere through the color, uh, just the black and white and red color, just that's just three colors, right? Okay, I think the lasers had like orange. Um, so the mood is actually pretty decent, I think. But yeah, again, missing music is like such a big part of me mood. So I'm gonna go with mixed here. And overall, I enjoyed playing this. It was really close, uh, most of the levels. Uh, yeah, like I said, a little more forgiving gameplay would have been nice. Maybe one more gameplay mechanic. Um, so it was, it was a bit hard with the timing, like it seems like the, the game was already set up so the timing is, uh, so that the player again can get through and I'm just going out there hoping that it works out. Um, so yeah, a little bit better level design maybe in that regard. Um, yeah, and one more gameplay element, like one gameplay element that everyone hates in games like these is like seeking missiles, but I could imagine this working quite well for this game. Um, so maybe you can try that out. Uh, I'm gonna go with good overall. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, it was a really good game. Um, yeah, that's it. Let's go to the next game. So, for the next game, we will have Life's a Breeze, number 17. This is by Scooter Kurt, I imagine it's pronounced. And first Ludum there, congratulations. And let's check it out. Life's a Breeze by Scooter Kurt. A relaxing weather simulator, make the flower grow by managing the unstable weather. Developed in Godot Engine, available for Windows and Linux. All right, we're gonna download it real quick here. I'm just gonna go to my other screen. Um, oh, yeah, I don't think it's dangerous, no, no. Wasn't it like uh, earlier that only like exe files were declared as potentially dangerous? Now zip files are there too. Um, okay, just gonna extract it real quick, one second, and we're gonna start it. Oh yeah, there's music. Um, which is quite peaceful. I like it. And yeah, okay, make the flower grow in the unstable environment. You can click the weather symbols to apply either sun, rain or air. Right click to pan around. Scroll to zoom. Life is stressful. Lean back and relax for a moment. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah, I'm gonna lean back now. <laughs> okay, so yeah, right click to pan around. Oh yeah, we can zoom out and in. Okay, so let's click on the... No, wait. Didn't it say that we should click on the cloud? Hmm, or should I click here? Okay, I'm gonna click in... Ah, okay, it's clicking in the UI. Okay, so the cloud is slowly moving there. Very chill and relaxed and we're gonna give it some time. Is it growing already? Probably not yet. So yeah, this really is relaxing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is there something happening? No, there's just little, little particles spawning here. So let's give it some sun. Oh, yeah, okay, I forgot I have to click in the UI. Oh, there's even uh, buttons to turn off the music, but who would want that? It's beautiful. So the sun is moving in now. All right. So we're gonna, I'm not sure if we have to fill these bars up for the plant to grow. Is it already growing a little? Gonna zoom in, oh. Yeah, I think it's growing slowly. So let's pull in the wind and see what happens. still changing. I'm not sure if you can see this in the video, but it's really slowly growing. Oh yeah, but the rain is going down again now and the sun also. So we gotta balance this unstableness a bit. Yeah. Okay. Let's pull in the cloud again. Yeah, it's like an interactive watch, watching grass grow. But yeah, that's nice. So I'm curious to see how long this will go and how this plant will develop. Oh, there's this little chirping sounds for the atmosphere. Yeah, uh, so the graphics are uh, just a few, but those few, they look nice. Uh, would have loved to see some more things on the ground, but maybe who knows what's to come, right? Maybe this, this plant will spread out. Um, or maybe a few butterflies flying around, like we have this really tiny particle effect. You could pop this up a little bit, like it's... It's maybe a bit too small. Oh, is there some, what's it called? Um, chromatic aberration here? I think I saw some chromatic aberration. So, all right, our plant is growing. Um, gonna move in the cloud again. So obviously there's not a lot of like gameplay here, uh, which is moving in a, a, another part of the weather, like depending what bar is the lowest. So it's just just a relaxing thing. But I'm just gonna give it a few more minutes, I think. Um, So let's move in the sun again. Yeah, it's supposed to be slow. So just let's just lean back again and relax. Oh yeah, it's it's getting a bit wider up here. wind again. Alright, we will see if we can grow a full plant and if there's an ending to the game. But just for a few more minutes, like we don't want to overdo it, right? Yeah, what, what could be done with this game? Like, it's a peaceful simulator. You could have maybe like multiple plants and you have to balance these plants with the elements. Uh, but that would make it much more stressful, right? Um, so maybe this is not a good thing at all. I would, I would just love to see the, the environment like around the plant growing a little more. Um, 
Like it's 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 a bit bare, maybe. But like the, the the skyline looks actually pretty nice with these colors, and they're they're slowly moving. That's pretty good. So yeah, there's our plant. Is it still growing? Can't tell. Is it still growing? I think there's something happening up here, but it's very slow. Yeah. So the UI is nice and clean. Uh, would have loved to be able to interact like in the game world and not just uh, through the UI. Like just click the sun and it moves in. Uh, you can just give it a, a 3D collider and do a raycast into the world and then, then you can check for this. So now our little plant is up in the clouds. <laughs> oh, is it gonna be like an Icarus plant? Is it gonna go too close to the sun and get burned? I think not, that would be cruel. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, I think we're probably gonna leave it at that. Um, yeah, we're already nine minutes in. So, uh, okay. So where are we gonna use all the four here? Yeah, this is uh, this was Life's a Breeze by Scooter Curd. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just put up my table right here um, of how I rate. So fun, yeah, you can't exactly call a game like this fun, right? It's it's a relaxing game. There's, there's not exactly like game fun to be had. So we are gonna go with actually bad here. Sorry about that, but it's just, it's just a fun category. So innovation, actually there was also not so much. Um, like you had to balance out these things a bit. Yeah, I don't see much innovation in here. So I'm sorry for these ratings, but I mean, I enjoyed the game, but uh, for, for these categories, it's just uh, like, I don't know if you can opt out of these categories. Um, so, but we'll get to those, uh, which you will rate higher in. Um, so for the theme, unstable, yeah. Balancing these things, it was a bit unstable, but very little unstableness. Like it's balancing uh, like bars um, out a bit, just a bit. And the plant was very stable. It went straight up like the, nothing could touch it. Um, so I'm also gonna go with bad here. I'm so sorry. Uh, for these ratings, but it's just that these categories. So we're gonna go to the better ratings now. And uh, this is graphics. So like I said, these, these objects, they look nice. The skyline looks nice. The plant itself could use a little bit, like a few leaves on the side. Yeah, that would have been nice and magical. Like when the plant grows, then some leaves on the side also grow. That would have improved it a lot. And like, yeah, the ground, around the plant is pretty bare. So some grass, some, some smaller flowers that grow with it, that would have been awesome. So we are gonna go with uh, good here. So as I really enjoyed for it for what it is. And the mood is, I would say, even very good. Like, it's really relaxing. Yeah, it, it, it achieves what it aims to do. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with a very good mood here. And for overall, it was a relaxing experience. I had wished for a little bit more to do, but it's not the aim of this game. So that's just my personal preference. Or maybe for, for, for a few more things happening on screen that I could watch um, while waiting. 
But overall, that was enjoyable. Um, I'm gonna go with good here. Yes, it feels like a good game. Or maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm between a bit, uh, between mixed and good here, so. But I'm gonna go with good, yeah. I enjoyed this. I mean, I think I've given the, the game previously, which had like much more actual gameplay. I've already also given it uh, a good. Oh, by the way, I just, uh, after finishing the last video, I bumped up the ratings here a bit because it, the movement felt like good innovation to me and the graphics also good because of the animations. Uh, so maybe I'm gonna bump this up a little bit to a very good in comparison, just, uh, yeah, so we're fair between the games here. So this one is good for me and I enjoyed it and it's relaxing and there's a place for games like this, um, which can also be in game jams, of course. Uh, so yeah, if you add a little to it, I think there are quite a few games on Steam that do something similar. I, I haven't played it, but isn't like the game Mountain quite the indie smash it? Uh, has been, like it's been, uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, so if you add on to this, like add a lot of other elements that grow and that you can watch as a player, this could go places. So keep it up. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, the next game will be, tell us, my TR and Gelato, it's Lapis Vitae. Okay, what does this mean? Lapis? Is there like there a gemstone called Lapis Lazuli and Vitae is probably alive? Uh, wait, which number was it? Number 32. Okay, we've got to scroll down a little bit. This is by uh, a game by Falavisca and this is the second Ludum there. Okay, so it seems like we have quite a long game here. Uh, so the dialogues are important for understanding the puzzle. Take your time. Duration is 15 to 20 minutes. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks very much. It's my pleasure. So yeah, let's get right to it. Like 20 minutes. Uh, if it's, oh, wow. These graphics look pretty good. Um, so this is a team effort, not just by Falaviska, but also by Leorid and Melek Taus. Toss? Okay. Point and click through a dungeon. Help NPC NPCs so you can borrow their stuff. Find your way out of an unstable cave which is about to collapse. Please tell us in your comment if you made it to the end and your playtime if possible. The game was made by Eric, John and Zepp. Eric uh, was responsible for level layout, level design, lighting, uh, story design, dialogue writing, John for code and puzzle design and story design and Zep for the VFX and SFX and a lot of stuff. Like they all did a lot of stuff. All code written from scratch, um, except minor helpers like read only, attribute from our toolbox. About audio and graphics, we didn't make the assets ourselves, but we spent a lot of time on composition, lightning and so on. Okay. So we'll see if this is, is this in the rating? No, they opted out. That's, that's good. Uh, this game was a real challenge. We had to sacrifice quite a bit of sleep to get it done in time. Oh, that's, yeah, okay. It's a trade-off, right? Like sometimes you're so much into the jam that you, just go a little bit overboard, but generally I'd suggest like getting those eight hours of sleep in. Fun fact, the whole dialogue system was written three hours before the deadline. Oh, wow. So we're going to control this with the left mouse to move, interact, talk, pick and advance dialogue. WASD also to move. So we're going to check that out and write item to inspect and deselect and ESC to skip dialogue. Uh, so this is a download again. We're gonna go with the jam version here, which is already version 1.2, but all right. Okay, so it's quite the big download, 230 megabytes, but that's to be expected with these graphics, right? Um, so yeah, oh, they have given out quite a few ratings already, very active uh, in the rating 
uh, period now. That's that's great. And I'm just going to go to my downloads folder on the other screen. And one second. And we got it extracted. And let's start the game. So another Unity game. Yeah, like it looks pretty good, but yeah, those are those are those graphics weren't made during the jam. Just remember that. Uh, let's start the game. So we can move directly with WASD, and we can also click somewhere to move there. So I guess we're gonna go with WASD movement here. Right mouse to. Inspect, okay, got it. And left mouse for interactions. So we can't interact with signs. Hint, movement. I know, left click or WASD. Okay, inventory, maybe tap or I. So we even got an inventory. Wow, that is quite a big game for a jam. Um, wow. Okay, so let's move through here. Uh, it looks great. The Book of Lies. Praise the Master. Can we interact with this? No. So there are some swords around here. I think there's a way. And can we go here? No. There's a pillar. The pillar was hit by a rock. Maybe I can knock it over with the right tool. Okay, so we need a tool to knock over this pillar to build a bridge uh, across this gap. So what do we have here? An artifact. So shiny, worth enduring all the traps on my way in. Oh, are there gonna be traps? Are we able to actually die? We'll see. So we took the artifact and we now have it. No. Uh-oh. This is becoming a bit unstable. But it's not in our inventory. So, huh. Is this what the bug fixed version is about? Oh, wow. And there goes all my hope of ever getting home. Okay, so maybe, uh, but we have another way. Iron Hammer, yeah. It has an engraving that says Stein Alt. That's, uh, hmm, sounds like the name of a metal band. Indeed, indeed. But Stein Alt is a German word and means like really old, as old as a stone. Um, so, a sign that reads under construction. Oh wait, we still have to pick it up. Uh, so, okay, we got the iron hammer. I hope it shows up in the inventory, yes. So the artifact is not in the inventory. Oh, okay, so the unstableness is blocking paths. That's nice. Um, just gonna use it on the pillar and bam! Knocked it over. Wow, this is a re really good atmosphere here. Um, so do we have something here? Yes, there is something. TNT. Cause, uh, yeah, okay, ACDC, yeah. Can we pick this up? Okay. And we have a torch. Come on, baby, light by fire, that's the doors, yeah. Nice, nice references to, to music here. Uh, like, I wonder if there's really a metal band called Stein. <laughs> I don't know. So we have a door. The door is locked. I need another tool. Oh, well, we do have TNT and the torch. Oh, I want to drag and drop this, but I have to select it and put it there. Okay. So these are some, some easy puzzles to start. Wait, can I just... Yeah. I oh, I have to light the torch first, of course. Um, so now we have a little torch. And we're gonna use it on the TNT and go away. Oh wait, I wonder if I'm gonna die? No, <laughs> okay. So there's a chest, it's locked. I need a key to open it. Okay, so we're looking for a key now. Okay, we can go on here. So let's remember that torch. Old catacombs and penetrable. Oh, so once we get the key, we gotta go quite a bit back. Oh, is this an enemy? I hope it's just... The goblin looks dangerous. I have to distract him to pass. 
shouldn't get too close. Maybe I can lure him in the room to the right. But he only cares about fighting strong guys. Okay, so there's another goblin. He's distracted. As long as I stay silent, I should be... Ah, we have a lever right here. Let's open this door, yeah. Okay, so we can just go right at him. <laughs> so yeah, I guess there's, there's no losing condition here. Um, but wait, is there something on the ground? I believe I have to get something from here. But I don't see anything. Hmm. Like, I'm still searching for a key. <sighs> so, did we miss something along the way? I, I have a feeling like I should be able to go in here. But no. And it also feels like I have to, like, maybe steal a key from one of these goblins. There's nothing else here, it seems. So, we're gonna go back a little bit and just... Keep our eyes open on the way. Hmm. Where could this key be? Oh, there's another way here. Okay, I overlooked that one. So, there's some stuff here. Okay, right. We have the silver key. He would notice when I steal it and he looks strong. Oh, there's someone here, a builder, the builder of this dungeon. He looks strong and grumpy. I greet you. I am the great builder of these halls. The cave is about to collapse. Don't you realize that? It's time to leave. This is not a normal cave. The tremors that you perceive here are completely normal. It is up to the giants who live above us. But as long as the artifact stays where it is, we are safe. But I took that artifact. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I lost my iron hammer. If you can find it, I could build a way for us to leave. The hammer has an engraving that says Stein Alt. We used that hammer? Nope, I've never seen such a hammer. Then farewell and stay away from my shovel. Okay, the builder will chase after me when I take the shovel. Give it right back. So what is he gonna, what are you gonna do? Is there... Ah, okay, so I just... Okay, ah, so it, take us, it takes it away from me again. Okay. Oh, wow, this game is so big. Okay, merchant stuff. Let's see what happens when I touch his stuff. Well... Oh, he tries to get it, and in the meantime I can steal it. That's not nice, but okay, I guess... Oh, so I think we got to trap the merchant in here, right? Hmm. But let's speak to him first. Let's be nice about it. Selling overpriced crap all over the dungeon. Hello, stranger. I'm the merchant. Look at my treasures. Look at my treasures. Aren't they amazing? Do you know a way out? No, because the lazy ass builder stopped right before building the exit that should prevent backtracking. If you want to complain, talk to the builder. So, do you want to buy anything? What do you have? Treasure maps, poison, dismembered limbs, animal heads, quite gruesome stuff. What about healing potions? Healing potions are not in stock. Today, a hero bought all of them on his way through the dungeon. If you're just looking for healing potions, I can help you. Come back if you need something else and stay out of my storage. Well, yeah, okay, let's trap him in there. He, he doesn't seem like a nice guy, so... It's probably all right to trap him. He doesn't even have healing potions left. Like, you gotta stock up on these as a merchant. So now we trapped him. And we're just gonna... The merchant looks... Yeah, but he can't chase after me anymore. Wait. Oh, no. He can't just open the door. Right. So I gotta... Like, seal the door somehow. Not sure if this shovel could help me with that. So maybe I have to time things correctly. So we're gonna touch that. We are gonna get the shovel now. Okay, so we have the shovel. And we're gonna trap him in there. And just use the shovel here. No. 
Oh, there's a huge spider there. Damn it. So how am I going to do this? Um, hmm. I have to trap him in there somehow. So we have the same key. So maybe if he's... Ah, I don't know how to do this. Uh... Okay, the silver key is for the chest. So can I maybe get this hammer back? No, this, was, this has collapsed. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, okay. So... Hmm. Seems like I cannot pick it up again. I thought I'd just give it back to the builder. Um, but no. So what do we do now? Uh, I don't know. Like I think we probably need to poison that builder later on. But first we gotta trap the merchant in there somehow. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do it. Oh, there's the ladder. Oh, what can we do with the ladder? Looks very weak. I could smash it with any tool, even a shovel. With any tool. With any tool. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe I have to close the door behind me. Like a shovel is usually not a tool for smashing things. Uh, oh, I can just close it from the outside. Okay, take back your shovel now. Ah, is there anything else I'm, I'm overlooking? Um, I mean, I couldn't pick up the hammer again. That would have been the tool to do it, right? To smash that ladder. But there's nothing else here. Like scanning the screen a bit now. No, I think I'm a bit stuck. Hmm. What could I do? Like, what would it even achieve to smash that ladder? Like, I think this is the second way out for the merchant. The second way back. So I gotta have that door closed first. <sighs> try, gotta try one more time, but if I, I can't get further. I'm just not sure how to go on here. Ah, damn it. But, okay, I'm gonna trap him one more time and try if I can get his stuff while the door is closed. The merchant, yeah, okay. So now let's go. No, I can't even interact with this. I need to... I shouldn't as long as you can chase after. Ah, damn it. Maybe in the comments I can see something. Um, but we're also already quite a bit into this video, like 70 minutes. Maybe I'm just gonna, gonna leave it at that, right? So... Yeah, this is this video has already already been quite long, so we're not gonna play this to the end because first I'm stuck and second I think this is gonna go on for a while. Um, yeah, okay, let's exit the game. So um, yeah, now we're gonna get to the ratings. Uh, I got my little table right here, and yeah, let's go. So fun. I think it was quite fun, like I really enjoyed 
the direct movement with WASD and this uh, this combination with the point and click mechanics was actually quite well implemented. Uh, not not extremely well because like if you I, you click on a thing, it, it takes some time. Like everything could have been a bit faster when I clicked on the shovel. It was like. Um, a few seconds until it got picked up. Like the timing was not always perfect maybe. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with good here for innovation. Uh, it's a point and click adventure. Uh, so, but with like this movement style, uh, I still remember the, the, the old days. I haven't played uh, Monkey Island 4, but it has like, this direct movement style and I didn't like it back then but I actually liked it in this game um, so this felt pretty good moving around and interacting um, but yeah it's not terribly innovative um, so is this is this maybe a playthrough no no it's just a little trailer <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go with not good innovation here. So I, I think the innovative part is like, but it's not terribly innovative to combine this direct movement that you know from like action RPGs, uh, maybe. Okay, in action RPGs you can also click. Uh, like if you remember Diablo 2, uh, which just came out again. So, but in Diablo 3, I think you had to, the, the the option to use the gamepad for direct movement or click with the mouse. I only played it with the gamepad. Um, so it's actually it's not really innovative. But maybe like point click adventures have also done this before. So the theme, I think like this is n not the most creative uh, interpretation of the theme, like a crumbling cave. But it's so well implemented. Like you, you can feel this cave crumbling. It's, it's blocking paths and it's shaking the screen and there's stuff falling down. So this is great. Uh, this is great. But I think like it's a pretty standard interpretation of the theme. So we're gonna go with I think, yeah, like. Not good interpretation, not very creative interpretation, and great implementation. So that leaves us in between at good, I think. Humor, I, there was not a lot of humor. I mean, like the, the references to the doors and ACTC were nice. Um, and yeah, these characters, they were, there was also not a lot of humor on them. So we are going with mixed here. Um, and the mood was incredible. Um, like, I know you've used assets, but as you said, the composition is really nice. The lighting is really good. So I wonder what would have happened if I didn't take this artifact at the beginning. Um, maybe the other way wouldn't have opened up. I know, I don't know. So the cave wouldn't even start crumbling, but I think the mood was excellent. Um, and overall, I wish I had more time to, to play through it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna keep it brief here, yeah? like we're already at over 20 minutes for this game. Oh, and now my camera got disconnected. I'm just gonna um, reconnect this real quick. One second. So, are we back? Yes, we are back. Yeah. All right, just gonna place this in the right spot again. All right, so overall, I really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, it was a great atmosphere. I wish I would have solved this puzzle and played through the end, uh, through to the end. 
But yeah, this, this video format just this doesn't allow for it. Uh, so I'm between very good and great here. And I think I'm gonna go with great because it's like a really good atmosphere uh, that you created here. Yeah, it's just a good package. Nice atmospheric sounds um, and music. Like it wasn't really music, it was atmospheric music, let's call it that. So, yeah, maybe what I would love to have is like, but that's way outside the scope of this jam, uh, but what a lot of uh, point and click adventures do is like a little help system to help you with the next step. Uh, like, you maybe know the room collection, um, like the room one, two, three, four, uh, they have this incremental help system. And yeah, you can, you can just click on the little uh, question mark and then it gives you like a, a subtle hint. And if you click again, it gives you a more stronger hint. That would have been great. Um, yeah, but apart from that, this was, uh, I mean, yeah, way outside the scope of, of this jam. So, yeah, really enjoyed this and let's move on to the last game for today. Let's pick it. And we're going with, yeah, Bear Fairy Simulator. That was uh, the first game entered into the list. So I'm really happy to see it. Spoiler, I'm gonna do one final video uh, in the end of this series where I'm just gonna play some non-randomly chosen games. And if this wouldn't have showed up until the end, I would have just played it in there uh, because it's been the first entry to the list. But we're gonna play it right now. So this is a game by Guntrip and it's his first Ludum Dare. Uh, congratulations on finishing the game. The game is Bear Fairy Simulator and the game is entirely written in vanilla JavaScript. I hope you like it. Okay, that's impressive. Um, so let's take, oh, this looks cute, but okay, a little grumpy maybe. <laughs> okay, Bear Fairy Simulator by Guntrip. Winter approaches and the bears are getting fat. Too fat to make it over the river, separating them from hibernation. You can control the one flimsy boat that can save them. Can you arrange the bears in the boat, keep it stable and stop it from capsizing? How many bears can you get across before the weather gets bad? Instructions. Click on a bear to pick it up. Click again to place or drop it. Arrange the bears so the boat doesn't sink. You can rearrange bears even as the boat is sinking. Okay, that's good. Click the boat to push it across. Once your bears have disembarked, you can click the boat again to push it back and get more bears. This is my first attempt at Ludum Dare and I'd love to know people's thoughts on the game. I hope you enjoy it. It's entirely written in JavaScript and CSS and the source code is on GitHub. Artwork is either CSS gradients or drawn in a sprite. The music, if you enable it in your browser, is a 14 minute synth track I made an hour before the time was up. Eek! Okay, 14 minutes, that's, wow. That's a lot. Um, so, let's get to it. Yeah, okay, so we already read this, but we're gonna read the instructions again because I keep forgetting. Click on a bear to pick it up, click again to place or drop it. Select and arrange the bears to keep your boat stable and above water. All right, let's go. So we're gonna get this one and this one. No? Oh! Oh, come on, you can maybe, yes. Okay, now we click on the boat and get him across. Oh, maybe we can. No, we're already at the going across. So I think I can just stack them. Zero bears ferried home. Like, what's this? I think this is maybe our, uh, how many lives we have. Music is a bit quiet. I'm just gonna pump it up a bit. So let's get this back here. So I guess the sizes of the bears are randomly generated. I cannot pick up another bear. Why is that? Like I can pick this one up again, but I can't pick up these bears. What's what's up with that? So yeah, just, let's just get this one home. 
Hmm, I wonder, why, why couldn't I click this? Maybe it's a bug? So now we can pick them up, but maybe... We want to go with the big one here, right? Oh no! No, you, you shouldn't sink, my friend. I can't place them back. No, no! Don't drown! Oh my god! This little bear here is quite bouncy, so maybe we can just put him to the left and then... Yes! So now we have another bear here. Oh, why are you so bouncy? Okay, but this should... Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, I can still pick him up. So maybe we're gonna get this one. Okay, am I just gonna drown him? Oh, no! Like... You can cuddle. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we gotta sacrifice the little one. No, we can't sacrifice the little one. It's the big one that causes all the trouble, right? So, oh no, I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, no. Come on, go across. No. Ah, damn it, but I gotta get across somehow. But it's always drowning when I try this. Uh, maybe if I do it like this uh, and this, oh, it's still drowning. Why is it still drowning? I mean, it, it's supposed to be stable. Uh, like if I take this one out, okay, and place it here. It is still drowning, I don't get it. Well, maybe we can get the... No, we can't click the little one anymore. There's the boat collider. Um, yeah, when I click him really fast. Okay. So now we're gonna jump the little one over to the start. And it's not gonna drown. You're not gonna drown. We're gonna get you. We're gonna be real quick about it. Okay, so maybe... <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Maybe can I place it in there? Okay, you can go out if you want to, but you don't have to. So, let's place these in there. Or maybe, yeah, let's just get them across. Uh, okay, it seems like I already lost one. And this one is now going away. <laughs> I can't pick it up again. Oh no, I'm sorry. So, and one in the middle, let's go. So this is a simple game. Um, yeah, it's just a physical balancing thing, I guess. Like, I think you're not using maybe, I'm not sure if you're using a physics engine, vanilla, JavaScript, I don't, don't know if, this gives it away, or if you coded this all yourself, if so, impressive. And yeah. So when does the bad weather come in? I, and maybe never. Like this is a 40 minute synth track, right? So I think we're gonna like try to see the ending now and just go crazy with them. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry, but, oh God, what am I doing? <laughs> God, I shouldn't be doing this catastrophe. Too many bears have died and your bear fairy license has been re revoked. Sorry, click anywhere to try again. Yeah, I just wanted to see if there's an any, but I probably shouldn't have seen. This is so sad, but their eyes are still open. So maybe they haven't really died, but they're... Maybe they, these are bears that can breathe underwater and they still live and they're now finding... Oh no, wait. Their eyes are open but they are crossed out. Oh damn it, I just wanted to make up like a narrative where I haven't been a, mo a monster. But it's not working. <laughs> I'm sorry bears. Um, we're gonna go to the rating now. Um, so yeah, this was Bear Fairy Simulator by Guntrip. Um, I got my little rating table right here. Um, 
So, fun. I think it was not a lot of fun. It would have been, I think, more fun if the bears didn't bounce off each other so much, but that, uh, if you could stack them and like have the boat like this and they're just rolling off each other maybe if you stack them wrong i think this would have been a maybe a more fun mechanic um so as it was it wasn't too much fun i think so i'm gonna go with not good here uh sorry the innovation uh not very innovative you're like balancing out this boat um hmm yeah i don't see too much innovation right here uh also like there was like not getting them like if you stack them correctly you could easily get them across uh and if you stack them incorrectly, you had to rearrange them. So the, the act of getting the boat across, that, it didn't seem so engaging. It was just uh, clicking on the boat a few times. So I'm going to go with... Wait, was that even... Like, what, what was innovative about this? Like, we, we've seen stacking stuff before. It's not stacking, yeah, balancing stuff. But it's, it's brought in a different context, maybe. So we're going to go with not good innovation here so yeah the uh, unstableness the theme uh the boat was the unstable part right and the bears themselves like they began shaking when you put uh, too much too many of them in not sure if this was like maybe also no it was it was intended it was not the physics like bugging out um like shaking means the boat is drowning so yeah, it's it's unstable because of too much weight. It's not not super creative, but it's it's all right and well implemented. So we're gonna go with mixed here. The graphics are simple, but they're actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I like those bears, especially the the smiling ones. Like I think they're only smiling when they're on the boat, right? Uh, they have different facial expressions. That's a nice touch, like the water is moving that's a nice touch there could have been more going on underwater or maybe on the land this is a very simple texture but overall these graphics are good i think yeah maybe it, we're gonna go with good here or mixed between good and mixed here so they are very simple ah but i just enjoy the best like the, base, the bear's facial expressions is such a nice touch. So we're, we're gonna go with good here. The audio, yeah, four, 14 minutes of synth track. But it was like kind of doodling a bit in the background. So it didn't really like grab me a lot. So, but it's good. That, it's great that you included music. Um, so maybe gonna listen to it again real quickly just to make good decision is it starting now it's starting Yeah, it's a very chill synth soundtrack and no sound effects. So we're gonna go with mixed here. Also between mixed and good because the music is actually like, it's, it's good in the background. But I, I would have actually like felt like a more cheery tune would have uh, fit the game better maybe. Yeah, we can, we're gonna stay at mixed here. So humor. These bears are adorable, uh, but it's also devastating when they drown. So I think there's not a lot of humor here. So we're gonna go with not good or mixed. Um, yeah, it's like, it's such a happy feeling when they arrive. Uh, 
we're gonna go with mixed here. And the mood um, was mediocre, I think. Um, yeah, like I felt for these bears. I'm also gonna go with mixed here. So we have a very mixed uh, outcome uh, in the, in the re uh, categories. Overall, I'd say I would have, I think, much preferred like a stacking mechanism because this this uh, gameplay mechanic, it felt really hard to control. Uh, like the, the, the bears were bouncing off each other and yeah, I couldn't fit a little one in uh, like I wanted to. So that was unfortunate. So yeah, I think the overall package is also a mixed one. Um, yeah, this is how I feel about this game. Um, it's still like a really great job for, was it your first Ludum there? I think it was, right? Which, which number did we have got? It was number three, yeah. It was your first Ludum there. So for that, it's really impressive. And for vanilla JavaScript, it's even more so. Um, yeah, it's just that the, 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 like the organizing mechanic was a little hard to actually yeah, control it. Right, but uh, this is a good start for your game jam career. So I hope you continue doing game jams and I hope to see you in the next Ludum Dare, um, which is half a year from now. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.